Today is June 25, Saturday 2016. This is a case of a miniature schnauzer, 8 years old male, that had bladder and urethra stones. Probably since 2010, the owner will come and get some antibiotics whenever the dog has blood in the urine. And uh, the x-rays has shown stones in the bladder and in the urethra behind the os penis by one vet, the first vet, and also by us at Tuapayo Vets. But the owner did not want to do surgery to remove the stones. So whenever he finds that the urine is bloody, he will come and buy antibiotics. So there's not much we can do as uh, this is the owner. Now, finally, in uh, May 2016, which is about uh, one month ago, the owner decided to get the dog operated to remove the stones because what happened is that uh, the dog was limping on the left hind leg badly every day so he feels that uh, the cause will be due to the stones in the bladder and the urethra as shown to him by the, on the x-rays so he decided, decided to get the stones removed and this was done on May the 4th 2006 by Dr. Daniel and urethra and, and bladder stones were removed so from the x-ray, you could see that it has a big bladder stone and several urethra stones. These urethra stones will flush backwards into the bladder and from the bladder incision, all the stones were removed. On May 4, 2016, now is June 25, 2016. The dog is okay and according to the owner, that actually the dog does not limp so much as before. In fact, he he agreed that there's very little limping now due to the removal of the stones, which have caused pain in the in the hind leg area. So the dog will be limping, as uh, the pain must be terrible for him. So the stones are sent to the Minnesota Euroleaf Center through Hills. Singapore, Hills Diet, Singapore and uh, calcium oxalate stones were diagnosed as you can see it's stated here calcium oxalate stones is 100% uh, in the nidus and 75% in the in the stone Calcium phosphate, there may be 25% in the stone, but overall diagnosis is calcium oxalate canine calcium oxalate stones. So, the recommendations from the University of Minnesota the recommendation is prevention and to prevent it now there is no no diet to dissolve calcium oxalate stones unlike strobite stones so the recommendation is prevention just eliminate hypercalcemia which we have found in the blood test there wasn't any and the medical considerations additional water this I think the owner wouldn't have a bother with it the third one nutritional consideration to reduce the acidity of the urine feeding uh, moderate to lower levels of animal protein diet like Hills CD Multicare which I'm uh, giving to him today and uh, of course urine analysis analysis every three to six months and uh, 
medical imaging, x-rays every 6 to 12 months to detect the small stones, which I would say that the owner would not do it in Singapore, of course. Various reasons, being too busy. And uh, so now I will just show what uh, diet has been prescribed to him. Now, this Singapore, there are many owners who do not really have time or they are, they are not uh, interested in uh, feeding special diet. But to prevent any recurrence, it's best to feed small uh, urinary CD multi-care. This one is only to reduce the risk of struvite and calcium oxalate stones. It does not uh, prevent it. It reduces the risk by making the urine not so acidic and also not so alkaline because struvite stones form in alkaline urine. Now, so the recommendation is x-ray every 6 to 12 months so that if there are small stones recurring, they can be flushed out. Uh, through irrigation of the urethra and the bladder but 100% uh, I would say of the owners in Singapore don't bother so they, they, some of them they just feed the CD exclusively for struvite and calcium oxalate stone or even the UD the UD is here, UD has been recommended as well and uh, other than that other than that uh, I find that uh, most, most owners will just uh, wait for recurrence or blood in the urine before they come and uh, see the vet so, in this case, I had to call the owner to come to get this CD, otherwise he would just not uh, do it and fit the whole commercial diet again. And this will lead to stone formation again and another operation or lameness in his old dog. So, the vet had to take the trouble to call the owner. And, and sometimes we, we can't do it because we have no, no time ourselves. Dua Paya Vets, June 25 to 016, Singapore.